Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to show you how to make this exact lighting setup I know it's a very simple lighting setup, it's probably the only one that you would need to learn at first and it could be developed to look exactly like the ones in front of you this one is similar this one is practically the same and this one is almost exactly the ones that we will be talking about today so this is for beginners using Blender as well so I will be taking this very slowly and as you could see, I'm starting with a 3D scan, which I have downloaded off of the internet and gave a simple material. I will be linking down the material down below for you to try this out with. And for the scene, I have a simple backdrop, which is an extruded line with a bevel modifier to give me this very smooth fall off. I have a camera, which is around 130 millimeters with an aspect ratio of exactly one. I'm using cycles for this one. You could use EV. It will work perfectly well for this case. And as you could see, we have a simple bronze material as you know, I'm not going to talk over it in this video. This is mostly for lighting. And if you want me to work about this, please let me know. We're starting with our main light, which is an area light, which we will add. And we will position it the exact way that you would see in front of you. We want it to be coming from the side and the front a little bit and be upwards and rotate a bit downwards as you would see in front of you. I'm giving it some more strength in order for it to be visible. And we want to be working with shadows in this case just to give some more contrast. I'm also playing with the spread. I don't want to see light in the lower parts of this. I, you know, as you could see, I'm trying to hide the borders of the scene and I'm looking at the eye area to get this nice triangle. Play around with the strength again, you know, when you play around with the scale and the spread, it will make your light harsher if it's less small, I guess. We will now add our second light, which is supposed to be our rim light. This rim light will make the, our uh, model distinct from our backdrop so it's not exactly black on the sides and blend with our background we will be talking about the background in a minute but as you can see we're playing around with the spread again with the strength and give it a bit more harsh strength in order to give us this really really nice look as you would see and feel free to play around with the angle as you could see it's coming from the side behind our character in order to highlight the sides of it as i mentioned just to make it a bit more different and make it pop out of our backdrop per se now at this point i'm just taking a look at how everything looks and we already have a really nice setup now it's time to add a warm fill light you know this is very optional you could add a white fill light you you don't even have to add a fill light we want it to be coming downwards as if it's a candle or a fire give it a very 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 weak and shallow strength and play around with the temperature as you could see in front of you and we are practically done with this lighter and setup as you could see at this point play around with this play around with this spread play around with the angle right as you could see we already have a really nice setup right and you could stop here or you could do what i'm going to do next is add a bit of a vignette effect or hello effect behind our character on the backdrop in order to make it pop even more as you could see so I'm adding a spotlight playing around with its strength and positioning it near our backdrop you could do this in multiple other ways however this way is the easiest and most practical that I have seen I play around with the size playing around with the dimensions as well and with the strength I could talk a lot about this, right? But I just want to keep this very short. Now, in this case, I like to sample a color from our actual model. As you could see in front of you. You could experiment with colors, however, I want a greenish color, as you could see. Again, the strength changes with the scale and the spread and the color as well. So, play around with this. And at this point, I believe we have a really nice result already you can improve this you can play around with this you can try to play around with the color management 
with the color post-processing and I'm using in this case AGX it looks a bit more shadowy than filmic right and hopefully you made a couple of tips out of this don't forget to subscribe maybe even join our discord server and follow me on instagram if you need anything take care